A new ingredient to Burlington's economic development is experiential zoning, along with expanding biotech. In January, we proposed an experiential use zoning to town meeting, which they approved, which really kind of updates our zoning for the business district and allows uses that are a little bit more modern. Today, people are looking for things to do. What can you do and what's exciting and different? And so what we're trying to do is make that explicit in our zoning so that when tenants come to Burlington and they kind of consider us as a place to land for their business, we can welcome that kind of use and that generates more excitement and it draws more people in. We do have one currently in the mall called Camp, which is kind of this interactive speakeasy for kids that's kind of hidden from the front, but you go in and have a whole experience. And that's really what you're paying for. You might have food or some product, but the idea is that you're getting out and having something to kind of share or even, you know, take pictures of. In terms of the economic development office, you know, we're working with different departments, including planning, to look at the long-term vision of our community. And a lot of that is rooted in the zoning. Town meeting, planning board, planning staff have been working to rezone, and we've seen real change coming in from some of the office spaces that have been converted to life science. We've seen those now tenanted. More specifically, you know, and very excitingly, the groundbreaking over at Northwest Park. And so that's over nearly 300,000 square feet of new space that'll go there. That space will have two life science, big anchor institutions there. And it's Vericell and the Broad Institute. You know, what's exciting for that, you know, as anchor institutions, that just will draw in more interest from those more smaller, more kind of graduated, mid-sized companies that are interested in being part of a cluster that have an existence of Broad and Vericell. In addition to that, town meeting approved changes to a northwest park to allow for three more buildings approximately as well as a long Middlesex turnpike to allow for some changes to a retail area. So those things will enable us to improve through redevelopment and capture any kind of improvements that we will like to see also in the public realm through these new investments from the private sector. From the town of Burlington, Office of Economic Development, this is B News.